fishing, there are men who seek out the big jumpers as hunters seek out trophies in the animal kingdom. Men like Michigan sportsman Larry Heelan. His companion, Clyde Rickard, is a light tackle fancier fishing smallmouth bass in Lake St. Clair for the first time. Now in a waist high waders, our anglers are all set to go. Larry's the veteran, Clyde the eager pupil. Clyde is that these uh, bass are up in the shallow waters feeding on minnows and uh, they're very spooky and this uh, way we can get a lot closer to them without scaring them. So I go down here and work the right. You try right the right time. and I'll head down to the left. How's that? Okay. It is often said that 10% of the fishermen catch 90% of the fish and if you're in that top bracket it's probably because you realize that knowing the water and feeding habits of your quarry can give you a big advantage. Good tackle and an accurate cast can count heavily in your favor, too. Our anglers wade cautious, dropping lures where the wily smallmouth may lie in wait. And it's Larry who scores first and meets our first big jumper. on, Larry finds bass with cast after cast, while partner Clyde is getting little more than lots of sunshine and exercise. So it's time for some helpful advice. What's the trouble, Clyde? You having a little difficulty? Uh, no difficulty. I just think you have all the holes staked out here, Larry, and I can't find them. Uh, try up along that edge there. Uh, right out there? A few minnows uh, circled a while ago. These bass, you know, they don't always. You're a little bit too far to the left. Uh, you better take another cast. Get a little close, right to the edge there. They don't always grab that bait real uh, hard, you know. This type they nibble, and whenever you feel anything at that lure, why you right over there to the right. right away. Yeah, it's right there. That's a good cast. That's a good cast. Okay, real slow to retrieve. Hey, here, now you got one. You got one now. There's a good <laughs> fish. You don't need. There's it. a big one. You don't Larry, need any finally. Help. I think I'm gonna go out there and catch my fish. I told you had the whole steak <laughs> on. Later. Good. The bass get the message too, and the rest of the day is a parade of big jumpers for both anglers, often two at a time. Oh, that's a nice bass. My gosh, look at that one you've got. Well, there they all say. Well, we sure caught a lot of fish today. We sure have, and these top it off, don't they? I think so. Well, I'd say with these two, Clyde, we ought to be able to call it a day. What do you think? Well, I'd think so. I think these two fish sure deserve their freedom besides, don't you? I'll go along with that. Okay, we'll well. set them free and catch them another day. Good enough. <laughs> Let's head back to the boat. <laughs> 